Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, it's about 3D printing and Lego Robotics. So you might ask, Mr. Hino, what in the world is this? I'm going to show you in a second. You're going to have to stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. Okay guys, anything that I show you today, I will leave you the 3D STL print file for it so that those of you that are able to access a 3D printer can just print this yourself. But let's go ahead and start with this guy. Do you guys know what this is for? Hmm. Let me go ahead and show it to you. So for those of you that guessed a Lego EV3 beam holder, you would be correct. So you're wondering, Miss Gina, how much can this thing hold? I can put all of these beams into this holder. So let's go ahead and check that out. And voila, there you go. This Lego EV3 3D printed beam holder is completely filled. Okay, so let's go over the capacity of this. Uh, five hole beams. There are six, there are 12 five hole beams. There are eight, yeah, there'll be eight seven hole beams. Let's go to the nines. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. There's gonna be 12 nine hole beams. There's gonna be four 11s, there's gonna be four 13s, there's gonna be four 15s. There are gonna be uh, 12 of these gray curved beams, and there's gonna be 12 of the J beams there. So that is a lot of beams that this thing is going to be able to hold. Woo wee, that's a lot. Okay guys, so this EV3 beam holder is amazing. Um, no, it's not going to hold like a specific amount of kit pieces. It's just gonna be for maybe those that wanna organize their kit, organize you know random pieces, are able to put their pieces into here. Now let's go to another piece. Okay, this next 3D item is going to be a Lego EV3 kit lid holder. I always have students that cannot keep their lid on for some reason and then the lid opens up it pieces fall everywhere so if you can take a look we'll slide this piece right here underneath here and it will be able to latch onto the lid let me see if i can do this right like so to keep this lid from popping open and then you have a second one here that i can put on the other side and it will stay in place like that. So now this lid shouldn't pop open. And so when the student gets to their desk, they'll just release the clips like so. And we hopefully won't have any of those, we call them holidays in our class where the kid drops the kit, the lid flies open and pieces fall everywhere. So these 3D printed clips are allowing your, the lid to just stay closed. Okay, my last 3D printed item was a EV3 beam. But as soon as this thing got printed, I looked at the holes and I was like, uh, I'm wondering if that's going to be able to fit. And when I tried it out, it did not. So what I'm going to have to do is probably take some type of tool and just... Um, have it go around the hole just to make it a little bigger because I tried to put a pin inside here and it just would not fit very well. So I have to open up the holes a little wider to get this to actually work. So I was thinking, you know, my students lose so many of these pieces. I'm thinking, is it really worth to 3D print more of these to replace their other pieces? And the answer is no. 
it actually would cost more to 3D print these than to just buy these off of a supplier that makes, you know, some, I, I go to Brick Owl sometimes to try to order more of these. It kind of depends on who you're ordering it from and where they're from. But if you're getting these locally, these would be cheaper to buy than to 3D print. Okay guys, so thank you for joining me today on Mr. Hino's Lego EV3 3D printing items. There are more items to 3D print, but I just thought for today, I would show you the ones that I have. There's some other cool ones if you check out Thingiverse, where there are people that will actually design pieces for the EV3. So I just thought I would let you see what's inside of my mind. Like, hey, what can you know I 3D print? So again, all of those 3D files, um, if you check the description, I've left you those files for those of you that want to 3D print those. And be definitely checking out for a possible Miss Jahino's 3D print number two, because I have some other things I would love to 3D print for our kit. Okay, guys? So thank you so much for watching. I am Mr. Hino from Miss Jahino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.